Okay, discrete section 73, Markov chains. Uh, this was developed by a man named Markov, a Russian mathematician. He was born in 1856, died in 1922, and figured all these out uh, using um, matrices. And that's why we're doing it now. Suppose the cafeteria wanted to predict how many students will be eating. So they took a survey and they found, okay, if a student ate today in the, ca in the cafeteria, then the next day there was a 70% chance that they would eat in the cafeteria. If uh, they did not eat in the cafeteria, that's the cafeteria, then there is a 40% they would not eat in the cafeteria. Oh, Next day, 40%. Oh, they would eat. Of course, 60% then not. So if they ate, 70% chance they would eat next day. If they did not eat, then there's a 40% chance they'd eat the next day. Well, this is easier to see with a, a uh, tree. So let's assume we need an initial state. Let's assume that 75% ate today and 25% did not. So we've got eight with an A and not. Okay. If they ate today, then there was a 70% chance they'd eat the next day and a 30% chance they would not. If they didn't eat, there was a 40% chance they'd eat the next day and a 60% chance they would not. And you could keep on doing this because say this is Monday, I guess. This would be Tuesday, right? What would happen on Tuesday? But we'd need a Wednesday, a Thursday, a Friday, and maybe even a Saturday and Sunday. Let's assume they ate their seven, or we're gonna look at this seven days a week. So, how many, right now with just two days, we've got four leaves. How many would there be if there are seven days? How many leaves? Well, this is two to the first, two to the second, and this would be two to the seventh leaves. And two to the seventh is 64 leaves. So you could, I guess, if you wanted to, draw this out and have 64 leaves sitting there. Or you could figure this out. But let's, if we just figure out Tuesday. So the probability that people would eat Tuesday would be this, which is 0.75 times 0.7 or 0.525. Um, if they didn't eat, but they ate the next day, that would be 0.25 times 0.4, which was 0 0.100. And these together would be eating in the cafeteria, 0.625. If they did today, but they didn't the next day, we multiply these out, we get 0.225. And if they didn't and still didn't, then we get the 0 0.150, if we multiply these as we go out. And those two together are not eat. And that's 0.375. So, Now you can do these Markov chains and uh, essentially you can find out what happens months down the line. So I think this is 128. 2 to the 7th is 128. Oh my gosh. That's 2 to the 6th. Hmm. This is 128. Anyway, it's a bunch of leaves. You don't want to do that. So we need a Markov chain. Change color. 
we need an initial state. We'll call it D sub zero. And it will be eight, or the eight there, 0.75, or not, 0.25. That's the initial state, D sub zero. Uh, the transition matrix to the next state, we would use something similar to the input output stuff. Um, eight, not, or eight, not, eight, not. Let's see, this was 0.7 and not was 0.3. This is 0.4 and 0.6. Now the rows have got to add up to one instead of the columns. That's the transition matrix. So if we take D sub zero times T, we would get D sub one, which is Tuesday. Right? Let's see if we can do this. Um, so D sub zero times T for the first row, first column, we're gonna take point. Well, you know what? We can use our calculators with this. So let's put in matrix A, the transition. It's going to be a 2 by 2, 0 0.7, 0 0.3, remember we go across, 0 0.4, 0 0.6. Okay, that's the transition matrix, that's T. So A is T, really. And we're going to use B, I guess, for the D sub 0. So get out, get back in, second matrix. B, we're going to edit. B is going to be a 1 by 2, one row, two columns. And this is 0 0.75, 75% of the students ate there today. 0.25 did not. And we can get out of this. And then we can take the d sub 0, which is a 2 by 1, sorry, 1 by 2, and multiply by a 2 by 2. So we've got conformable. So we want b times a. Second matrix, b times second matrix, 1a. And we get 6.2 by 3.75. That's what we got here, 6.25.375. Now, if we took that answer, that's Tuesday, and multiplied by this t again, if, if we assume that this is the how things happen over and over, then we can take that and uh, get the next day, Wednesday. So if we just say times, it'll take the answer, and we want times a, second matrix a. And then we'll get Wednesday, which is 0.58 D sub 2 is 0.5875 and 0.4125. And we can take that answer and keep on going. But you notice what we're doing here is we've got this initial one times the transition matrix. That gives me an answer times the transition matrix, that gives me an answer, times the transition matrix, that gives me an answer. This is all multiplication. All these multiplying together are just t to some power. t to 1, t to 2, t to 3. So all we really need is t to whatever day we want. If 1 is Tuesday and 2 is Wednesday and 3 is Thursday, and we can find any day we'd like with just exponents. So we can take um, the initial B, clear this out, second matrix B times. Now if I want, let's see, so Monday is 0, Tuesday is 1, Wednesday is 2, Thursday is 3, Friday is 4, Saturday, 5, and Sunday, 6, and then we start over again, I guess, Monday. 
So if I want to find out who's eaten on Sunday, I can take the transition matrix, which is A, second matrix A, to the six power. Enter. And I get 0 0.51, yeah, 0 0.571 or 0 0.572, 0 0.428. And that's the number who would be eating and not eating. That's called a Markov chain. And so you could figure that out really easy if this transition matrix didn't change. Suppose you wanted to figure this out uh, at the end of the semester. Say there's 380 days that they're eating, or 360 days or whatever. Oops. We're going to go up here and change this to 3, 6, 0. Now it may take, whoops, domain, the value entered was not allowed. Oh, I guess we can't put in that height. Hmm. Second quit. So I didn't like it that big. wonder how big we, we can go. Maybe I'll have to figure that out. Let's do it a little smaller just so it, see if we can do this 100 days. Let's just try 60. Oh, it does 60. It may be 100, maybe 99. 0.571, notice this sort of settles down. 428, 571. So this may be going to 0.571 and 0.429. But it might settle down, and that might be what they can expect over time. 0.5. 